Today we're going to explore what paper to use when practicing modern calligraphy. You see in front of me I have the Rhodia dot book and I'll talk more about the three reasons why I choose this notebook to practice modern calligraphy. Let's dive in. So first off, you do see that I have two different Rhodia dot books here. They're called the reverse book. One has an orange color, one has a black color and cover. And this one I've already filled up and used. This one I am just beginning. So you might ask, what is the difference? The color on the cover. So whichever one you find, it's a great notebook. And so the first reason why I love this notebook is because it has a smooth texture. So I wrote smooth there for you to get the first reason. This is a piece of watercolor paper. If you run your finger over watercolor paper, at least cold press watercolor paper, you can feel the texture of the paper. That's so that the water and the paint absorb into the, the paper and give you the effect that you want for watercolor. For modern calligraphy, when we're using brush pens, whether it's a small tip like this um, Tombow Fudenosuke pen or a large tip brush pen like this, the, the flexible nib on our brush pens is going to get destroyed by paper like this. So you'll probably hear me talk about how I have paper I have Tombow Food No Suke brush pens that are nearing the end of their life that I reserve when I'm doing watercolor and want to write on paper like this. That's because I don't want to destroy the tip of my Tombow Food No Suke when I am practicing. The second reason that I like the Rhodia dot grid is, in this reverse book is simply because there's dots. Simple answer, right? Um, the dots give you a guideline, but they're not so dark that they distract from what you are practicing. So when I'm using a Tombow Food No Suke hard tip brush pen, that's what's in my hand right now, I use two squares for my X height, two squares for my A sender height, and two squares for my D sender height. I think I've had a little too much caffeine today. Look at that shakiness on that letter, that letter D. So let's write the word dots. Now I will say, if you wanna scan your work, when you scan your work, the dots will show up on most scanners. So if you're wanting to do something, if you're using this paper for practice, but also want to use it for a final piece of work. Rhodia also makes a plain white piece of paper and it is wonderful to do a final piece on if you're going to then scan it with and have to have a digital copy of it. The dots get in the way for scanning. So that would be a reason not to use this particular notepad. The third reason that I love the Rhodia dot pen is the name of it is the reverse book and so I could write in it this way if I wanted to I could write in it this way if I wanted to any way that I I turn it so for lefties having the coil on this side of on the right side is a great help I love having the coil at the top because it allows me to lay this notebook flat so my hand when I get to the edge of the page isn't falling off and an inch up in the air. I love using my Archer and Olive notebooks to do modern calligraphy in as well. The reality is is I can't lay that notebook flat. There is always a raised edge that I'm dealing with when I get to the edge of the paper and that's just not ideal for doing any type of practice work. So the third reason that I like the Rhodia re dot reverse book, this notebook here that I'll link to in the description below, is simply because it's square. So I would love to know in the comments below, what is your favorite notebook or paper to practice on. I'll give you one bonus. 
if you are printing out worksheets, and I have a couple on my website that you might want to download as PDFs, and if you're printing those out on your home printer, I use the HP 32 pound paper. It is also very smooth. I don't particularly care for it when I am doing practice because what I have noticed is there is a little bit of a bleed on the edges with the Tombow Food No Suke brush pen and using the HP paper, but it is great paper to print out a worksheet and practice on that way. But when I'm simply writing things independently, I love my Rhodia dot reverse book. So the three reasons that I love this notebook for modern calligraphy practice is the paper is smooth, the dots give you a way to line up your letters and, and align your letters, and then finally, because it's square and I can turn the notebook in any direction that I would like. So this is my favorite notebook for practicing modern calligraphy. Let me know in the comments below, what is your go-to notebook for practicing modern calligraphy? If it's not the Rhodia reverse book or one of the Rhodia products, what is it? I'll see you next week for another common question that I get about modern calligraphy and hand lettering. Bye for now.